Day, the bodies of the boys were strapped in the back seat. An autopsy revealed the boys were not killed beforehand. They drowned. In October of 1994, Susan Smith, a woman from South Carolina, committed a very bad crime by intentionally driving her car into John D. Long Lake, drowning her two young sons, Michael and Alexander, aged 3 and 14 months respectively. Susan's life had been marked by early tragedy, including her father's suicide when she was just 6 years old and later experiencing abuse from her stepfather. She married David Smith at 19, seeking to build her own family, but their relationship was troubled, marked by infidelity and undisclosed mental health struggles on Susan's part. Susan Smith's most intense extramarital affair was with a newfound employee at Consul Products in 1993. She began sleeping with her boss's son, Tom Findlay, in January 1994. But the rich, handsome 27 years old broke things off with her in October. Writing Smith a letter clarifying he wasn't ready for a relationship involving kids. On October 25th, they had a particularly upsetting conversation. Finley said that Susan was very upset about something that her husband David found out and that he was going to reveal it to the public. It's unclear what it was, but it would later be revealed that Smith had continued having sexual relations with her former stepfather. Then, after insulting Findlay by claiming she slept with his father, he asked her to leave. Three hours later, she decided that if Findlay didn't want kids, she would get her children out of the picture. Just three hours later, Susan Smith put her kids in her 1990 Mazda Protege and set out for a drive. As she approached John D. Long Lake, she rode her car straight into the water, then fled the scene and left her two kids to drown. She then reported her car stolen and her children missing, even pretending that a black man had carjacked her and abducted her sons. Thing is, they were screaming, hollering, crying, and I'm just scared that he just lost his patience or something. I know? plead no, to the guy, to the man, me and my wife, plead to him to please return our children to us safely and unharmed. We love our children very much, and we want them returned to us safely. For nine terrifying days, she went on television pleading tearfully for their safe return. To my babies. <laughs> and your mama loves you so much. And your daddies, these whole families love you so much. And you guys have got to be strong because you are. We, 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 I just know, I just feel in my heart that you're okay. But you got to take care of each other. However, things got suspicious and she eventually confessed to the crime on November 3rd. During her trial, her defense argued that mental illness stemming from her troubled past contributed to her actions. The prosecution contended that she committed the murders to regain the affection of her former lover. And then in July of 1995, Susan Smith was found guilty of two counts of first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison. Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children, Michael, three, and Alexander, 14 months. The vehicle, a 1990 Mazda, driven by Smith, was located late Thursday afternoon in Lake John D. Long near Union. Two bodies were found in the vehicle's back seat. Identities are pending and all Despite her claims of a temporary mental breakdown, the public largely sided with the prosecution. Susan Smith became eligible for parole consideration in 2024. So guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, rate the actions of Susan Smith in the comment section. Also, if you made it up to this point of today's episode, 
it means that you enjoyed it and if you have become a fan that means you want more stories like this please do not hesitate to smash the like button also subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss our next upload which will be done two to three times a week that being said i'll see you in the next one she she needs a psychiatrist she needs something worse than that I, i've never heard anything like this this is the worst way that union county could ever be brought on the news it, it, it hurts to know that somebody would do that to a young baby